All right. Today, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate some of the different techniques on how we can use Visual Studio's debugging tools and more effectively debug your code. First, let's learn how to set a breakpoint and start the debugger. Breakpoints allow you to pause your code execution to examine your app in detail. To set a breakpoint, simply click on the margin to the left of the line of code. Press F5 to start debugging and the debugger will run until it encounters its first breakpoint. Next, let's look at navigating code in the debugger. Press F11 to start your app with the debugger attached and step through your code one statement at a time. You can use F10 to step over functions or methods, allowing you to quickly skip over code that you're not interested in. With the Run to Click button, you can quickly run your code to a specific line, similar to setting a temporary breakpoint. Hover over a line of code and click the Run to Click button that appears on the left. Sometimes, you may want to advance the debugger out of the current function. To do this, press Shift F11. This command resumes app execution and advances the debugger until the current function returns. You can also use the run to cursor command to start debugging and set a temporary breakpoint at the same time. Right click a line of code and choose run to cursor. To quickly restart your app, click the restart button in the debug toolbar. You can inspect your app state using data tips autos and locals windows, and watch windows. Hover over an object to view its value, or use these windows to keep an eye on specific variables as you move through the debugger. The call stack window shows the order of function calls in your app. Click the call stack window to examine the execution flow. When your app throws an exception, the exception helper will help you debug errors by showing the exception details and providing options to handle it. Visual Studio allows you to configure your project for debug or release configurations and set project-specific debugging properties. You can also debug live ASP.NET apps running in Azure App Service using the Snapshot Debugger, available in Visual Studio Enterprise. IntelliTrace Stepback automatically takes a snapshot of your application at every breakpoint and debugger step event. Use the Step Backward and Step Forward buttons in the Debug Toolbar to navigate and view these snapshots, helping you inspect previous app states without restarting debugging or recreating the desired app state. Now that we've covered the basic debugging techniques, let's move into some more advanced techniques that will help you understand and diagnose issues in your code. Conditional breakpoints allow you to set a breakpoint that is only triggered when a certain condition is met. For example, if you have a loop and you want to break only when a specific iteration occurs, you can set a condition on the breakpoint. To set a conditional breakpoint, right click on the breakpoint and choose Conditions to specify the condition. By default, the debugger breaks on unhandled exceptions. You can configure the debugger to break on thrown exceptions before they are caught, which can help you identify issues before they cause a crash. Open the Exception Settings window in Visual Studio and check the checkboxes for the specific exceptions or categories of exceptions you want to break on. Visual Studio offers a powerful feature called Edit and Continue. This feature lets you make changes to your code while debugging and see the effects without restarting the debugging session. Note that not all changes can be applied during a debugging session. To use this feature, make sure Edit and Continue 
is enabled in the Visual Studio options. The immediate window allows you to evaluate expressions, execute statements, and print variable values in the context of the current breakpoint. To use the immediate window, pause your application at a breakpoint and open the immediate window by pressing Control Alt I. Type an expression or statement and press Enter to evaluate it. When debugging multi threaded applications, you can use the Threads window to see the list of threads in your application and switch between them to inspect their call stacks and variables. You can also use the freeze and thaw commands to control the execution of individual threads. Effective debugging involves combining multiple techniques and using them as needed based on the specific situation. Mastering these advanced debugging techniques will help you diagnose and fix issues in your code more efficiently. That's it for this tutorial on using debugger tools in Visual Studio. Thanks for watching.